that one. Just bring your elbow inside the foot. Just peel it off. You know the minute I do, you take your peel, I'm usually most people are going to try and go under. So, 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 what, what, I'm, no, so what I mean is, they're going to try and do this. So if you squat down, that's going to be harder for me to get under. Of course I can angle, but it becomes harder for, I've got less to, and then of course if I come under, you're going to just heel toe, heel toe that out. Right, I mean, you know, I'm probably going to try, yeah. So then I've got, you know, I've got to try and find a hit or something to base on, but I'd much rather be that way round than... Is that the point I'm looking for? You know, when you when you pushing this out, where it's sort of a, yeah. a point where you want to switch between the two but can't. Yeah, like here now, this is all open. This yeah. side's open. So, you know, now you can start bringing the knee, to, knee through and bringing the chest on. Right. Yeah. This is now, you've only now got one. If you get to here, you've really only got one. If you get this knee down, you've really only got one hook to clear. You know, and, and so then it starts to become what's the most efficient way? Well, I would say, first of all, bring your elbow to your hip. So we're again, just making ourselves as secure as possible. You know my only elevation is this way. Don't, don't put your hand on the mat. Never put your hand on the mat. So you, so you get used to me carrying the weight. So now like you've got, you've got pressure there to try and flick this out. Yeah, you can start putting pressure on it. You can start bringing, kick, bringing your leg off of the hook. Right, and now like, yeah, now you have. Now you're golden. I think it's just having this sort of method methodology towards shutting everything down. Really. If you think about it, you're, you're kind of like you want your, your knees and elbows want to be almost like you're on that bottom. None of this changes. The more you can get that elbow to your knee, yeah. And then this is just kind of. Yeah. Close the distance, now you just want to start trying to get chest to chest. Don't be hand on that leg. Let, yeah, because you want all this weight now goes through these wedges rather than if you put the hand on the mat, it actually takes weight off your knee. I can, like, I can start pushing your knee more. Yeah, because you're taking weight off. Yeah, what you're trying to pin. Yeah, you don't have these, you don't have the yeah. hands on the knees and so. Yeah, well, you really want to try and avoid putting your hands on the ground if you possibly can. If you have to, you do, but you know. Once you've reset yourself, you, you go again.
So then you're breathing again. So your mouth's open and you're not controlling that. And then it all becomes very frantic. Do you know what I mean? You listen to my breathing. I'm, I'm trying to work at the pace where I'm in, you know, complete control of it. I might get my guard past, I might whatever, but I'm trying to work at that pace where it's in control. Yeah? Fill this up. Swimming. Look at this. It doesn't have to even be like big, it can be slow, but it's got to be into here. 